All right, so neutralization reactions. All right, uh, remember that acid plus base will make a salt and a water. So acid we know are going to start with hydrogen with a positive charge and bases will end in hydroxide ions with a negative charge. Hence, that's where we get our H2O for the water. And then the salt is basically what's left over. And that's gonna be a metal and non-metal or a polyatomic ion in a non-metal. So what's ever left over here, what's ever left over with the hydrogen here and what comes before the hydroxide ion here, they join together to form the salt. Um, but be careful to the H's and the OH's and how much there are, because it's possible to have two H2O or three H2O or four H2O. We don't really deal with many of them, but just watch out for that. All right, so there are a total of, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some of these. All right, using the above general reaction, complete the following reactions with correct formulas, then balance the entire double replacement. Um, as noted in the video for this class, Neutralization reactions are a form of double replacement reactions. Also, name the salt that is produced in the space below. So if you, and using to name the salts, you use table E, polyatomic ion. All right, so for the first one, HNO3 plus KOH. Well, I automatically know that one of my um, products is gonna be water. So I always go ahead and draw it, H2O. So I'm gonna take off the H from here, H, Two O, and now I'm left with NO3 and K. Remember, when you're doing writing things out, you write the one with a positive charge. Potassium always has a positive one charge, and I know that because if I look at my chemistry reference table, it's all the way in the left-hand side, and anything on that left-hand side has a positive um, one charge. And NO3 is right here. NO3 is a polyatomic ion, has that negative one charge, so they balance out. So I'm going to plus K N O three. Okay. And for naming that, it's just going to be K is potassium and N O three is nitrate. And that's the name of my salt. For the next one, H C L plus C H CaOH2, all right? So I know I'm gonna need a water, so H2O. And I know I'm gonna need, and then whatever's left over is gonna be my salt. So I'm left with a CaCl. And let me open up another reference table so I can show this to you clearly. There I go. All right, that's what I wanted to see. All right. Um, so then that means I'm left with a CA and a CL. Because if I take my H2O, and I'm not balancing it right away, I know I need a water, and I'm left with CA and CL. So it's going to be CA, C. L. Now I gotta balance it to make sure that things are adding up. So here I have, I should have a total of, let's look at this. There's one hydrogen here, plus two here. There's three hydrogens here. And then overall there's two oxygens, okay? So in order to make it even three, I don't like to work with a number three. I'm just gonna put a two right here and see what that does. So now I have four, I have two oxygens, which is right here, here's O, and there's that little number, there's two. And now I have one, two hydrogens here, four here. So I'm gonna put a two here. And this is where I'll explain that it works out. 
So two hydrogens here plus two hydrogens here equals four hydrogens, check. Two chlorines, there's only one here, but let's, I wanna show you why we know we need to make another chlorine. Calcium is right here on the second column of the reference of the periodic table. So it, we know it has a positive two charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. Calcium always has a positive two charge. Chlorine is right here. Look at the top one. Remember, you're always looking at the top one. Negative one charge. Negative one charge. They don't balance out. So I know I need two chlorines because now calcium overall has a positive two charge and chlorine has a negative two charge. So it works out. So now I have two hydrogens here plus two here. There's a total of four hydrogens. Two chlorines here, two chlorines here, one calcium here, one calcium here, and then we've already and then we've already did our hydrogens or oxygens, two oxygens, two oxygens. And the name of this one is gonna be just calcium chloride. Naming salts is easier. Calcium chloride. It's calcium chlorine, then the IDE makes it a salt. Number three. H2SO4. Um, oh. So I'm going to take out my water right away. Because I know these are neutralization reactions. So I'm going to take out my water. So I'm left with H2. And there's the H2 and the OH. So again, it's not going to balance out. So I'm just automatically going to make this a 2. All right, and I'm left with NaSO4. Remember, Na has a positive charge. I always, so I'm going to write that one first. And SO4, I've already, to, I've always told you guys that you don't have to memorize their names or their charges because they're right here, but you do have to recognize them. That when you see SO4 right there, it's a polyatomic ion, and it's right here, sulfate. Na. S O four. Okay. Um, this also doesn't balance out, so we're gonna have to balance it. So here's two hydrogens, and here's one oxygen, one hydrogen. I'm already gonna know I need two oxygens, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a two. So there's two hydrogens here, plus two here, there's four here. So that works out. Sulfate. You, can, you don't have to do SO4 separately. You can do it all together. One SO4 here, one SO4 here, two Na, and here's one Na. And let me show you how I know that it, I'm going to need a little two here. So this SO4, which is sulfate, has a negative two charge. And sodium right here, which is on the first column, has a positive one charge. So Na has a positive one charge. And SO4, it mean, doesn't mean the oxygen has negative two charge. It means the whole thing, it's a polyatomic ion, has a negative two charge. So it doesn't work out. Positive one, negative two. So I know I need to add a little two. Na2SO4. Now you have positive two and negative two. Remember that four doesn't mean the whole thing does. It just means the oxygen does. So, and then your name for this is going to be sodium sulfate. I'm gonna go ahead and clear these. And I'm gonna assign each of you guys, I'm gonna give you guys like a minute and a half or so, two minutes to and assign each one of you guys. We did three, so. All right. So, let's see. all right, let me go ahead and assign these. Number four, I'm going to give to Connor. Number five, I'm going to give to Sydney. Number six, I'm going to get to Matt. Number seven, I'm gonna to get to Trevor. 
Number eight, I'm gonna get to Max. This one's tricky, Max. Number nine, I'm gonna give to Logan. Logan, number nine is tricky. Hold on, Sola. Number 10, I'm gonna give to Nick. And I don't think I forgot any, oh, maybe I did. Oh, Olivia, I'm gonna give you number 11. And Ryan, I'm gonna have you do number nine as well. All right, so number four, Connor, five, Sydney, six, Matt, seven, Trevor, eight, Max, nine, Ryan and Logan, you're both gonna try that one. And that's tricky, eight and nine are tricky. Um, 10, Nick, and 11, Olivia. And I don't think I forgot anybody. So if I did, please let me know. Yes, can I help you? Hmm? You're not gonna get YouTube. Hold on, let me press pause. Huh? After your homework. All right, guys. Uh, number four. Let's. All right. Let's start off with Connor. What did you get? I'm not sure if you're talking. You forgot your mic's on, or if you need more time. Oh, there we go. Uh, H2O and NaPO4. Na3PO4, actually. It's Na3PO4, and I'll explain that one. And what'd you get for the name of the salt then? Uh, did you get a name for the um, salt there? Um, Na3PO4, number four, yeah. So if you guys remember, PO4 is, where's PO4? Right here, it's phosphate, it has a negative three charge, but Na has a positive one charge. So to balance it out, I need three of those, which means your formula should have, um, Oh, sorry, it's Na2, you're right, Connor. You're right, it's, no, it's Na3, sorry. Which means there should be a three here. Oh, 
which means there should be a, let me look at double check this one, but it ends up being sodium. I gotta look back at four, why I have, why my answers aren't coming up with, matching up with the answers I have here, but it's sodium phosphate is the salt for this, sodium phosphate. All right, Sydney, what up for number five? Um, I got H2O and then I and H4. Yep, so it's H2O and it's actually NH4I. That's what I figured um, it was because yeah. I was like looking at it and I was like, I think it's supposed to be ammonium iodide. Yep, it's called ammonium iodide. Okay, so just rearrange it. Yeah, and once again, NH4, if you look at your polyatomic ion, NH4 is right, I know it's here. It's a po positive one charge, and we always put the positive one, one charge thing first, and iodide is all the way here. I can't see it by the camera. I'll move it. Right there, it has a negative one charge. So ammonium iodide. All right, Matt, what'd you get for number six? Here, Matt, not sure if you're typing it in or if you're gonna say it. You forgot to mute yourself. All right, we'll go on to number seven, Trevor. Oh, someone typed something in. Two H2O and MGCH3. C O O two. This one's a this one was a tricky one too. So actually, so for this one, yes, it's two H O, but the other part was the I'm just gonna try to write it right. Um plus M G C H three. And this is what it actually looks like. That's what's, uh, let me undo that one. CH3COO, and there's two of those. And did you get a name for that salt? No, I didn't. All right, that's fine. So um, MG is magnesium, so that stays the same. And CH3COO, let me see if it's here. Yep, CH3COO or C2H3O2, they're the same thing, it's acetate. So it comes out to being magnesium acetate. All right, the next one, Max. Hold on, actually, let me double check something, guys. What page is that? Number 4, four number 5, number 6. Number seven. Oh, and that's where I forgot my coefficients here. You should, and there should be two H two O here. Okay. Number eight. Um, we have Max. So I got a three H two O plus. Um, 
Al NO3 parentheses with another three because aluminum has a charge of positive three and nitrate has a charge of negative one. So you would need to add the three. And then I said it was aluminum nitrate. Yeah, a three HO. And there's a uh, here too. Yeah, that's yeah, I put that there too. Sorry. Plus aluminum. And in parentheses, there's three nitrates. So nitrate is always NO3. But aluminum, if you look at your reference table, it's um it's a transitional metal, but it always has that positive three charge. It never changes. So aluminum right there, that's why you have a positive three. Nitrate always has a negative one charge. So that's why you need three of those. And Max was also correct in that this one is called um, aluminum nitrate. All right, Logan and Ryan, you're going to confirm if you got this correct for number nine. All right, Logan, what did you get? All right, Ryan, you're next then. What'd you get for number nine? So I saw there's probably like an H2O in there, but I don't really know how to do these, so I didn't do the rest of it. All right, so let's start it. So we know we're gonna have H2O. Hold on, so we know we're gonna need H2O. That's over and done with. But if you look over here, there's three hydrogens, and right here, there's one hydrogen. So I know I'm gonna need multiple of things. I just don't know how much. So, but I'm gonna keep on going. So here's a H, O, and here's a H. So I'm left with L, I, and P, O, four. So I'm gonna do L, I, lithium, and P, O, four. If I look at my reference table, lithium has a charge of positive one, so that's okay. Positive one, and PO4 is phosphate. PO4 is, where is it? Right here, PO4 is phosphate, has a charge of negative three. So that doesn't balance out completely. So if I know PO4 overall has a negative three charge and Li only has a positive one, I know I'm gonna need three of these, three Li's. So when I do that, I put an Li right here. And now that I know I have three oxygens, I gotta put a three here. So those balance out. So now I have three hydrogens here plus one is four. Oh, three hydrogens here plus three over here means six hydrogens, hence right here. And now overall I have three oxygens, three oxygens. So it comes out, and this one is called lithium phosphate. All right, Nick, for number 10. Two H two O plus MgSO four magnesium sulfate. Perfect. I'll write it all here. So it's gonna be two H two O plus MgSO four, and that is called. Sorry for my handwriting, guys. It's better when it's larger. Magnesium sulfate. Good. And the last one, Olivia.
All right, well, Olivia, you're coming up with your answer for number 11. I'm going to go over Matt's number three. Right here. There was a two here. Um, for number, what was he, number six? Nope, there wasn't a two there. It's going to be H2O plus Na. C L C L O weird and that one is called what did I call it sodium hypochlorite and those are the ones that you really won't have you'll encounter them every once in a while sodium hypochlorite in Olivia, for the last one, she got H2O plus NH4Cl, and that's called ammonium chloride, and you are correct, Olivia. Um, let me see if it'll let me write it without putting this. All right, it's not gonna let me write it completely, so it's gonna be H2O plus NH4Cl, and that is called ammonium chloride. All right, so that's it for this.